Now, we had um, Daryl Halligan on the show uh, earlier in the week, and I want to bring back a quote that he used when he described your condition after that opening game against Lebanon. He said, uh, Joe Tarpin, he's got a couple of black eyes and a broken hooter, but he's all good. Um, <laughs> how are you? How are you feeling? How have you pulled up after that win over Lebanon? No, nah, yeah. Um, he's, he hit a nail on the head there. Um, was a bit, bit tender, but um, nothing nothing structurally wrong with it. I got clicked back in and... Uh, the only thing disappointing is probably the wife's but angry that I broke my nose. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, you're not, you haven't been named for the team uh, this week, and of course your coach Mike McGuire's been, been has rotated the squad a bit, which is obviously uh, you know customary for a World Cup. Do, do you think you could have run out there and still um, had a red hole go? Yeah, definitely. Um, uh, I haven't had a proper talk with Madge yet, but um, I think it was more just a rest um, this week. But um, you know. Like we always say in camp, it's uh, it's always an honour to play play for your country. It doesn't matter who against or when. So, um, mm. you know, obviously would have want to play, but I'm excited to see uh, like Scotty Sorensen and um, Sebi Chris get their, their test debuts this week. Yeah, exactly. And Chris as well as your, your Canberra Raiders teammate. So you'd be doubly stoked for him, wouldn't you? Yeah, definitely. Uh, he's worked hard all year and um, probably flies under the radar and, and media back in Oz. But um, yeah, he work, he's worked hard to get where he is. Mm. Uh, Joe Tarpany joining us here on the platform uh, the Kiwis taking on uh, Jamaica early Sunday morning Joe getting a, a, a nice uh, rest for this one and as we know with these World Cup uh, group stages Joe you, you guys do tend to, to share the workload have rotated squads and whatnot. How how's this year been for yourself because uh, I mean the you know obviously winning the World Cup is the goal but getting there as well is an incredible achievement it, it's been almost a cherry on top of a, a really good 2022 for yourself you know standout year for the Raiders named to the Dally M team of the season you got a um, contract extension as well. It's, it's been quite the year for you. Yeah, definitely. And, um, you know, this was always in the back of my uh, mind going into the end of the season. Um, I really focused um, this year and just, uh, you know, kind of playing in the now as well when I was at club and leading my performances, you know, do, do the talking. And um, if you look at our Kiwis pack, you know, we're real strong through the whole the forward pack so it's actually going to be you know tough for Madge to pick a team come in the coming weeks but um, all, all the boys can do is um, play their best footy and um, hopefully get, get picked I guess mm. Did you do anything different in pre-season ahead of the NRL uh, to, I guess to spark this no it's not to say obviously you haven't been playing well the last couple of years of course you have but uh, to, to sort of have this this uptick in performances uh, or I guess recognition did you change anything in pre-season? Uh, not really. Um, yeah, th- I've been asked this question all all year, and I <laughs> think um, you know a lot's changed, and um, that's part of being an athlete or in, uh, any person in your job. You got to change and um, try to get better. So I I um, pinpointed a couple of things like my preparation and um, and what I'm doing during the year, you know, to help me get to to the field better, and it, it worked out this year. What was so? What were those things specifically like? Waking up early, maybe going to bed a bit early, uh, bit earlier, and whatnot, things like that. Oh no, uh, I uh, started, stayed off the drink for a big portion of the year. Um, I, you know, just at training, done a bit more around um, my weights areas, which I I wouldn't usually do. Just a bit of extras in there, and um, it really helped out. You know, we had new new trainers at, at the club that. That really helped us. I could imagine that, um, I'm not, not trying to be humorous here, but there's been times where I've, I've maybe reduced my alcohol intake and it's actually made me you know, feel more energetic. I've, I've, I've felt better waking up early in the morning. So I guess as an athlete, when you do maybe have, have a, a couple less uh, during the week or whatnot, it would make a huge impact, wouldn't it? Huge. Um, even like your sleep and recovery, you know. Um, it doesn't take you two to three days to recover from a game with you're having you know cold beers after games in it you're uh you guys have obviously had a nice week uh, reviewing the the game against lebanon um a good win in the end but i'm sure it was a bit nervy at times what what's been the the talk from your coaches and whatnot uh, during the week yeah a bit um a bit shaky um we went uh, to our standards and and you know we went we we're happy we won a test match but you know we were a bit disappointed that uh it's not how we we really wanted to um start our campaign but I think it's uh, our defence has to tighten up a bit more. I think the footy over in England's a bit more um, slower. You can get away with a bit more, so we need to adjust our game to that as well. Uh, when we when we spoke to DJ earlier in the week, he brought up how the game's a lot different. He brought up the referees as well because you're only playing with one, aren't you? And obviously you have two in the NRL. How's that different, having just the one ref? 
Uh, no, I think we we got one in, in our own at, at the moment now. I think I think they changed it as well, but um, it's just uh, I think they're a different interpretation over here. Um, when you uh, you know in the NRL, if you if you uh, win a tackle or win a run, you know they kind of speed the game up a bit. Feel like um, you know you win a run here, they they don't do that as much. So um, you just got to adjust just a little bit, but uh, nothing that we won't you know won't adjust to quickly. Mm. I heard that um, you guys had gone to a um, um, was it a, a Viking museum the other day? What was that about? Yeah, no, nah, um, we're just in York, and um, York was uh, the capital of the Vikings back in the old days. So mm. um, they have a little museum there. So um, we, all of us boys and, and stuff, uh, end up just going on the little tour. Just it's like a little ride through um, a recreation of a what the town or village would have looked like back in the day it was, it was pretty good eh? nice do they do they do they trust you yeah. with any swords to, to play around with nah 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 <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't, couldn't trust the boys with swords anyway <laughs> i was gonna say a whole lot of massive uh, rugby league players with yeah. swords i'd be running for my life now <laughs> a lot of big kids in the team <laughs> good on you you've got to be able to sort of um tap out and and kind of you know relax and as you say decompress and whatnot and just hang out with the guys outside of a competitive footy match don't you yeah, definitely. Um, that's a huge thing for uh, me. Uh, getting away from footy really helps me. I know switch switch off and and then when I get to, get to footy, you can switch back on and you take it a bit more serious like that. Mm. Now, um, just finally, uh, Joe, your coach uh, Michael McGuire was announced the other day. I believe that um, he'll be joining the Raiders as a, as a coaching consultant. Um, that's pretty pretty good news to have uh, your international coach with you at club level as well. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I think he'll bring a. A lot of uh, spark and a, a different perspective to our club, um, which will be good. Um, you know, I haven't really chatted to Madge about it, but um, mm. you know, I'm looking forward to, to seeing what he brings down to Canberra. Um, it's always good to have change at, um, at places, you know. You can't stay the same. Well, you're going to stay the same, I guess. So um, we got a lot of improvement to do at the club. So him as an addition is huge for us.